in today's episode of the Tommy K Show. Uh, what's the mod called? Tommy K Roleplay? Tommy K Roleplay. Doing? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, what the fuck? Yo! What? <laughs> I've been thinking all day I said, uh, Japan, but I'm very s The way I play Japan, I'm not gonna tell you. And I'm gonna call forth my Nakamoto. Will it be Tarushi-sama or Hata-sama? Ohayo, mina. Watashi wa Imperor Hidorito-sama. It is an honor to meet you. Frankelino de la no Rusevato! Well, howdy, Hirohito! Gentlemen, let us all go forward. Let me escape the war first. Which will lead ultimately to a push by me. In a few days. I can't. Listen, I, no, I can't. I can't. can't do it. No, I can't. Oh, God. I feel so bad. Probably naming better. All right. There we go. I feel so bad. Well. Another big, big Tommy K backstab just happened. Oh, it's little. Oh, yeah, yo, fuck this. I don't have time for intros. I want to stream. I feel like I want to stream. I can't wait for another minute for this intro. Gentlemen. There's many, many stories today. First of all, my beard. What the fuck happened there? Holy crap, I look like a normal guy. Hi, I'm John. I'm in a tech company. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Uh, what's the mod called? Tommy K Roleplay? Tommy K Roleplay. Doing? I don't even know what's happening. Oh, what the fuck? Yo! What? <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Yo, what the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> this is so fucked. Who made that? Who the fuck made that? Game. Listen, I don't know. I, I felt like... I've been thinking all day I said uh, Japan. But I'm very... The way I play Japan, I'm not going to tell you. It was announced. I am choosing Japan today. That's what I'm feeling. I was thinking all day um, how to fucking how to fucking what to play today, and I didn't know what to do. I don't want to be in the Balkan. Uh, I did Germany, France, um, UK. I did Portugal. I, I I was thinking what I should play today, and I chose Japan. If you want to join, you have to join the Tommy K Discord. Uh, in somewhere on this Discord, the ID and the password is. Please join. Listen, it's kind of fucking obvious what I'm going to roleplay today. As uh, I've been thinking that I want to, as I said last time, I want to roleplay a bit more aggressive. I don't want everybody to be my friend. Hey, Tommy, I want to be friends with you. I want to be a bit... Today, I'm, I'm kind of announcing it now. I want to kind of roleplay a villain today. I want to kind of be a villain. I want... Uh, my, my Japan is so good. I know that my Japan is very good. I want to kind of be... A bringer of war, someone that fucks people up, and I want the people around me to unite against me. Uh, which is bad that I said that right now, because now all the people will start, Oh, Tommy wants to be a warmonger. Let's all unite, guys. So it's a bit eh. Welcome to Roleplay with Tommy K. Uh, how did I play this game? I forgot everything. Um, I know what to do. I know what to do. I'm going to play kind of serious, because I think... You can start feeling that people start playing very serious in the roleplay game now. People are starting to do meta tactics. People are starting to spam tanks and shit. People are starting to roleplay, but also inside roleplay games, they are starting to uh, play uh, very, very serious and they want to go for the win. So, bro, I'm going to fucking approach the Godot faction right the fuck now. Today... We're gonna roleplay Japan as it's supposed to be. A new faction has appeared. Intent to take control of the government and strike north into the Soviet Union. We must eliminate them and they before they can damage too much. We're approaching the Kudoa faction, and the Kudoa faction is the faction that is actually planning 
to um, invade Russia. Like, we do not want to invade Russia. We want to look somewhere else. Like this. We're going to play like this. Okay. That looks good. I don't need any trade. For Don't forget to stop the oil with Yusei. Um, let's unite the fleet. Like, it will look a bit like a real game, an esport game, but I just want to play good. I don't think that's fail RP from my side if I decide to play very good. Okay, I think I did everything. Man, I didn't play Japan in a while. You guys know the Tommy K channel, and you know that Japan is always my favorite nation. Uh, in 10 years, when I will think back of Hoi 4, I always remember Japan. Japan is, is the greatest nation for me in Hoi 4. And I'm going to call forth my Nakamoto. Will it be Tarushi-sama or Hata-sama? Samurai lineage, it's useless, it's for a focus. He has, um, he gets 10% less XP. Hmm. Didn't one of these guys have something crazy? He has all the regular shit and he also has all the regular shit. The people of Japan will use. Terauchi seems better. No, ah, he seems better. And he gets 10% more XP. Political connect. You know what? I'm choosing Hata. No, no, I, I don't think it's clever. Okay, time to roleplay. We, the great nation of China, are seeing that you are the great Hirohito, are supporting the Kodoha. Their aggressive expansion into the northern lands of China were followed with suffering the Chinese population. We hope there won't be any more aggression into the lands of China until the following years. We'll announce his mainland ambitions shortly to the Asian sphere. Puji Senpai. Pushi Puji Sun. The Emperor announces that he he uh he only accepts pure loyalty to his name from you. If you ever show any signs of unloyalty, you shall be dealt with swiftly. Okay, let's fucking roleplay that shit, man. Puji, if you indeed prove yourself loyal and worthy, we shall together restore the great Qing Chinese Empire together. It makes sense. I, I don't want a roleplay where I take all of China just for sifts. That's shitty roleplay, man. That's just, uh, it's just not cool. But giving everything to to him. But I'm obviously gonna take some stuff myself. Mm, okay, I can look for that. Great Stalin of the Transcaucasian People's Republic. The Emperor announces. That it would only hurt both our nations if we were ever to fall into conflict. His Highness is proposing a non aggression pact between our nations so we can focus on our real enemies. Let's influence Stalin a bit here. Reasons. It seems that Stalin actually took our proposal. Australia seeks distance from the Commonwealth. Maybe we can find a friend in Australia. And the right is growing in France. Stalin agrees with the Emperor. Our enemies lie in the West. You are safe, comrades. The revolution always stands triumphant. Yugoslavia notes that advanced communism. Greece approves of the Yugoslavian decision. We just got basic machine tools. And now we'll go into a concentrated industry. In the great homeland of Nipotis! はよ、みんな。私は。インペロリドリトス様。イディセノノトミチュ。フランクリノデラノルセルベト。ワハリヘラヒロ。ウムシレ。イディソナトミチュトゥデイオンビューティフルアイランドオブグアム。イハセイ
we're gonna take the influence of the Europeans away from Asia. Now, Ooh, the Japanese nation, I'm sure, I've heard whispers of some kind of um, trans-Asian pact from the Manchukuo newspaper. Mr. Roosevelt, the national newspaper of Manchukuo has done a great mistake and has spread fake news all around the globe. They cannot be taken serious and they should not be trusted. Japan and Manchukuo are peaceful nations that want Asia to prosper. Well, I gotta say, I peacefully purchased Macau. Thank you, man. Thank for the year. And when I visited London to purchase Hong Kong from the British, they told me that they are not interested. And they would rather discuss the future of the world. We were in their own sphere. Ooh, they could she mean that they're planning something, Mr. Hirohito. They're planning something. Mr. Roosevelt Oda, Stanley Baldwin cannot be trusted. But may I ask, how much did you pay for the casinos of Macau? Thank you, Sand Buster. Well, the Portuguese were talking about, um, I, I don't think um, I can really give away this information, you know? Uh, an undisclosed amount. I understand. So, Mr. Roosevelt, you want to stop colonialism around the world. That seems to me that you're looking to the east and not to the west. Well, to be fair to me, you got the Dutch East Indies and you got the Indo-Chinese, which are really close to my friends, the Philippines. It'd be much more difficult for me to control the African state before I can control the Asian sphere. Mr. Russell, that sounds like you're actually looking to move into Pacific matters. I'm merely trying to liberate people so they can Welcome. live in their own accord and vote for their own leaders. Mr. Roosevelt, the Emperor respects your nation greatly. And we think it is best for both our nations to not interfere with each other's motivations. Of oh, course, in this part of uh, at this time, the American people agree. However, the American people appear to be out, didn't bring any uh, documents with us, so we can't sign a non-aggression pact or anything like that right now. It is a very weird that the president cannot sign a non-aggression pact on his own. But well, this is the weakness of democracies. But I understand. Hoi. Mr. Roosevelt, let us leave today by shaking hands and making sure there shall be no ill will between our nations. Well, I'll spell on that quick. Here, take my... Thank you. Let me... Let me first... Uh, enchant my hand. Sakura-zen bonzaikyu. Bonkai! It is done, Mr. Roosevelt. Let us be friends. Maybe even... You can bring in non-aggression pack documents to Tokyo next time. Oh, of course I can. Omoshirei So now, shall be done. I'm gonna go on a plane to Hanoi. Great. And visit the great... I wish oh. you a great trip to Vietnam. Last, let me tell you, in Japan, goodbye means Oroseyo Bakamomo. Thank you very much. Well, as my weird son always says, uh, arigato, Guzayo Mastu. Kanarisis. Thank you very much. Have fun in Vietnam. Okay. Sayonara. Americans. We're gonna get them all, boys. Don't worry. We're not looking for aggression relation with the US. They're obviously a very big threat. After this spiritual mob, and then we go down Marco Polo. Um, the divisions are not done yet. Bam, bam, bam. That's pretty much enough. They need to be 10 with, and then I need 20 more for these two, and then we're done. 
signals? Obviously, signals. Uh, this is a very old school question. Signal is the most important thing in this entire game because it makes a reinforced battle. Signal is the most important thing in this game. And I just recently, in the last month, realized how fucking important Reckon is because I started realizing that the tactics the AI chooses in the battle are so important. And you, if you have a higher reconnaissance than your enemy, and you always have higher reconnaissance than China, just with level one reconnaissance as Japan, you will always choose superior tactics than him. I don't care. Japanese Navy will now officially move out. I still need to spread my submarines because they will try to naval raid. Um, I guess Iran has not any more fuel. Yeah, he has no fuel. I will now make a tr fuel deal with Russia because he's my friend. I need to roleplay the Marco Polo incident. Also taking infantry. Marco Polo incident. Which now means I go for armies. No, naval estimate. Oh, I said yes, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen, man. That was... I mean, that was kind of fucking obvious that he's gonna do that. After being attacked by Chinese forces on the Marco Polo Bridge, Japan has successfully pushed back these warmongers and taken Beijing away from them. A great day for freedom around the world. Soon the warlords of China shall be dealt with and the true emperor of China shall return. We ask all nations on earth to support the rightful claim of Puji in this war. Someone is connected again, but I all hail the true Emperor Puji. May the warlords fall quick. Teko Banzai. Gentlemen, let us all go forward. Let me escape the war first. Let me escape the war first. I'm gonna escalate first. I also gotta use them and or or something. Yeah, exactly. But predicted, predicted, my dude. Oh, you are not playing with a noob here, my friend. No, 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 you are not. Okay, Panay incident, Munich agreement. Uh, that is dead. Fuel is actually positive. You just lost everything here, and I'm just gonna. Um, Escalate. I'm not gonna take war bonds because I actually have to wait for my air guy. Oh shit, Panay incident. Oh shit. Oh, I didn't even know the Panay incident. We. We want to. Oh god, deeply apologize for this incident. The crew of the ship has been dealt with and will soon be executed for their deep mistake. Man, I don't have time for this right now. God damn it. Um, zero percent looking better. He's spreading his army. Seems like a big mistake here by him, which will lead ultimately to a push by me.
Shank do actually take it? This might be it. Bro, what a stressful war. Holy crap. Hey, good job, all Chinese nations. You guys fucking tried. Uh, watch there be a new major. No new major. I get them all. I'm gonna paint the fucking map after this. Oh, I'm gonna paint the map. Dwight's still trying like crazy, man. Dwight's still trying his ass off to get my ass. They're never giving up, dude. They are not. There we go. Dude, just press done. Just press done, guys, please. I will do it. It is a sign from the gods. It is a sign from the gods. Why is Communist China not dead? Bro, mark the state and click on Machuco State and give it. Ah, okay. I will do an official ceremony. I'm gonna not read any messages. I swear to God, guys. Fuck you. Uh, let me just check with the rules. Is it with the rules if I invite Australia? It should be. It is. I'm very sure. Is it? I just want to confirm. Yeah, it, it is. I'm very sure. Uh, that's not over 6.5 points. 6.7... 5.75 points. I want to talk about peace, yet you don't come and talk to me for two years now. Sir, I know you have some issues with polio, but as I stated, in times of all-out war with China, I was kind of busy taking care of the front man. Uh, All-out war with China is now over, yes. If you'd ask your great CIA, you'd know I am still busy in the mountains of Xinjiang, sir. Dear Emperor, we congratulate you with your victory in China. But as we now share a common border in Indochina, I think it will be our interest to secure a non-aggression pact. Oh, that's not gonna happen, Mr. Franz. Oh, that's not a maturing project finished. Here we go. Okay. Let's roleplay. Japan announces full victory over all Chinese warlords. A celebration will be held in Tokyo shortly. And I'm muted. Mr. Roosevelt, finally, we can meet. Howdy, partner. <laughs> so what is that? Well, what's up? What's up? I kind of have a lot of fucking blood on my hands right now, sir. I'm a bit fucking pissed off because Trotsky spread loads of communism, so I couldn't wake up any giants in my realm until the end of 1940. That sucks for you, sir. It's very... Well, uh, 600,000 Japanese just died in the war. I'm very sorry that you couldn't evade your giants, sir. Very, very sorry. Speaking of the 600 Japanese who willingly went into war, I believe my uh, 60 American sailors who were murdered by those Yes, it's time to talk about soldiers. this. As stated before the war, it was a big mistake by the crew of my destroyer. They know it was a mistake. They have all were forced to perform Sudoku in front of the citizens of Tokyo. They have met their fair punishment, sir. I don't know what else I can do for you. Well, you see, one, a one-off crime, you may see it as, however the American media has been seeing plenty of problems with your takeover of China. Some people talk of comfort women, a rape of Nanyang, and of course, Puyi does not control China as or suppressed it. Additionally, if you read the newspaper, you will know that I just announced a great summer in Tokyo in which Pui will be officially crowned emperor and be given territories. You always well, seem a very ill-informed man, Mr. Roosevelt. Well, you know what the mainstream media is like. The Especially in your country, sir, that is true. You say. Maybe you should fix your media. Additionally, the people of uh, the people of New Zealand have been sending very threatening messages to me. Do you have an and example of that? Of course. Uh, in 1939, they stated that perhaps they could do a better job of controlling South America, which is, of course, not my concern. Sir, I will handle. I will handle the leader of New Zealand. I think maybe you could leave me to handle. I mean, you already have plenty of friends in 
Yes, I am. So, are you threatening one of Malaysia. my friends? Sir. Did you just threaten one of my friends? I'm not threatening anybody. I was just. We were gonna go meet in Washington. We were gonna go discuss something with the CIA in another room. Sir, it's abundantly clear that we have to stop our tensions. Swiftly and shortly. Europe is a mess and they need your help. Well, you say that, however, I mean, the only nation with a, mili with a nation that can rival mine in Europe, the United uh, Great Britain, has absolutely no military capabilities. The CIA tells me they have no manpower and only 30 divisions. <laughs> he might grow soon, sir. His industry looks very threatening. Yeah, your industry, I believe, is, uh, is more military focused than his. Yeah, I was kind of busy killing the warlords of China, sir. And for that, you kind of need the military. Well, perhaps now that that's done, you could, you know, Immobilize. Mr. Roosevelt, do you have anything of essence to say here? The Great Empire of Japan is tired of your influence in my sphere. It, it is considered a great deal of disrespect. So be it, sir. So be it. Yeah, let's see the big words come now. Even though I'm not ready at all. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Great politics, sir. Let us see what will happen now. Like, I can't even roleplay because I'm so much in war, I can't even fucking roleplay anything. I'm so busy just fighting the whole time, dude. I think I'm, I'm allowed to kamikaze. Maybe I shouldn't use my fleet yet. I have an idea. I have an idea. Wait for kamikaze. Wait for kamikaze. Don't be stupid. I need kamikaze. Warrior spirit. And once I have kamikaze, he's dead, man. Hey, he wanted this, man. I was willing to make the, the deals. Fall of London. Okay, what the fuck? France taking UK? Man, we're at all-out war. I can't really roleplay, guys. I want to make like I wanted to make a, uh, a party and shit, but you say just click the button. Being a bit of a memer, but hey, what are you gonna do? Once I hit Kamikaze, he is gonna hit some big issues here. Two emperors are fucking growing, baby. New Zealand, man, just wait a bit. New Zealand, I got... And then that's it. I feel so bad for Siam, but I can't. The two emperors are fucking like that shit. Japanese fleet, you ready? Japanese fleet, patrol, West Emperor chain. I'm sorry, Great Emperor, but what is this Australia at war with me? Guys, there was a secret thing that was going on. I didn't say on stream. Australia told me he wants to take New Zealand. Another big, big Tommy K backstab just happened. Oh, it's little. Australia is home to the 10 most venomous snakes in the world. This snake has just shed its skin. It's at its most beautiful. It's also the most venomous snake on Earth. The Tomicus Serpent. It's estimated that one bite delivers enough venom to kill at least a hundred fully grown New Zealanders. You are a false emperor? You fucking New Zealand man! You think the emperor gives a shit? Let's fucking stop all this little sissy bullshit for a second man! I'm the fucking emperor man! But I will never beat the US, he's just gonna- if, if the USA defends itself, you will never look at this division. I, I'm not gonna beat him man. Which- which makes it a bit sucky that we can't go for a peace deal. Mr. Roosevelt and Hello. Mr. King. Hello. It is up to you today to end this bloodshed in the Pacific. Once and for all. Man, I'm, I'm all down. I'm fucking. I can't be asked for the. My naval commanders are cowards. Even when I order them to always engage, and they write back to me and say they have a hundred percent coverage of regions. I read in the newspaper day after day all the convoys being raided. Let me, ask my, let me ask my let me ask my my butler if he can bring me the smallest villain on earth so I can play it for you. I know, I know it's karma, as uh, the Indians would Mr. say. Mr. Roosevelt, let's not stand on ceremony here. I always say that. 
We need to... We, we don't need to, but we can stop this. The Japanese Emperor has no interest in invasions of your main lands. There's much more urgent matters to tend to. If you look at Europe, the balance of the world lies there. Well, how about we just split it with what you have now? You can keep that like, status quo. You can keep what you have. I will be, that will be the same offer I would have made, sir. How Mr. Roosevelt, Mr. King, yeah. let's ask the question. Are you willing to sign the demilitarization? No, the, the, the denavalization of the Pacific Treaty. Let's call it the Treaty of of Midway. Well, hang on. Put, put your navy away and we can talk about this. Well, it's as long as there's no treaty, my army will still be engaging in actions of war. Well, what, what does this treaty entail then? The treaty would obviously mean, the, as I just said, the denavalization of the Pacific. No more invasions, no more actions of war, no more naval engagements. Okay. Well, that's fine by me. I'll just keep my navy in provinces where my, uh, my land is, and you can keep it where your land is. So, Mr. Roosevelt, you will sign the Treaty of Midway? Yeah, sure. Why not? Mr. King! Yes, sir. What do you think about this treaty, sir? Well, the Canada, Canada doesn't have a navy, or I mean, a very. Well, late. that's not the question. Will you sign? It seems like North American people have some issues, sir. I'm asking you, will you sign the treaty of peace? Yes, of course. So it shall be done. We trust you here, Mr. Roosevelt, and we will start withdrawing our navy and aircraft from the Pacific keeping the islands we took we hope you do the same sir yeah and as I said we will just keep it around where our land is defensive submarine ring of the Pacific there we go now I can finally roleplay again Gandalf, thank you, man. That was a great victory, guys. Come on. People of Japan, you cannot be mad about that. That was a great victory. Oh, okay. Gentlemen, we have united you today. Puji and Hirohito have united today in Tokyo to celebrate, c celebrate the defeat of the Chinese warlords and the Treaty of Midway. Japan finally knows times of peace and will use them to crown Puji Emperor of China. Long may he reign. And he's like a secret shadow puppet, man. This is actually cool, Rupa. I like that. I don't want to border gore this. I think border gore is the worst thing in Hoi 4. We are not gonna border gore this. Does that make sense? Hover over the mark. We have France here. We have my pack here and Russia here. Three possible enemies. The Pacific War seems to be over. With a great fucking victory. You want... I'm getting this right. You want the Majapahit Empire to take over Thailand and Vietnam go into Japanese clay. You pretty much want Plague Pi Pung Song Kam dead. Did I get this right? I mean, if that's the way you're taking it, yes, that could be correct. So you want to give me Vietnam and you take... You will have a puppet in Thailand. That's correct. That is a very unsatisfying offer, sir. Southeast Asia must be unified in the Asian sphere, sir. I think that that's a wrong mindset you have there and I think that you've ruined these negotiations and I ask you to leave immediately all faction members prepare war it shall be done swiftly let us prepare if they want it they shall get it still we have to be careful with the Russians the non-aggression pack still standing strong. Let's go. 
Oh, he just arrived a bit too late. Embargo him, embargo, embargo, embargo. We need to embargo him. Full embargo. Stopping the belt. Full embargo. Go out, go out. I'm gonna fully embargo this guy. He asked for this. I did not ask for this, Bruda. It was you. It was you who asked for this. Wait, is it War of India? Yo, that's very fucking offensive, India. What the fuck? Yo, India is attacking my boy? Yo! You had the guts to attack Siam, which is part of my sphere. Pay the price now. <laughs> Holy shit, that's OP. And France is gone. And Russia took everything. Dude, Russia is gonna come for me now. Let us take down the warmongers of the Umayyad Pact. Then the secret treaty that you two made shall be enacted. Man, fuck. When British Raj and, and Persia are dead, it's just me and Russia left, man. I don't think we can win that war. Here we go. Uh, wait, I got British Raj? Guys, just press done. Let me, let me paint. Oh, God. Just press done. Why is he dead? I am so confused. This what? Retarded. What's going on? Oh, oh. I never hey. actually capitulated. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a bug. Hard, hard to, it's hard to find four in a nutshell. I, 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 I yeah. Yeah, perfect. I mean, the war is over. I, Wait, I, 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 I mean, do, a good Tommy. peace deal. A good peace deal, India. You never capitulated. You never capitulated. He just fucking took it by building the game. Man. God, I feel In so a few bad days. for him. I can't. Listen, I, no, I can't. I can't. I can't do it. No, I can't. I can't do it. I can't, man. Does anyone know where tomatoes Mr. is? Mr. Mr. Emperor, compose yourself. God. I'm oh dead. God. Oh, God. oh, God, no. Oh, God, I feel so no, bad. Probably never been All right. There we go. I feel so bad. What? Oh, God, I feel so bad for doing this. Ah, oh, that hurts. That fucking Goodbye, hurts. Goodbye, cruel world. <laughs> But I'm an emperor. I, I can't be a bitch. I gotta. Should I leave or? <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? Sessy, aka yeah. Mr. Pluck, you, you don't leave. You don't leave. Okay. You don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. The goal is to finish. Just give it to me. Give it to me. Press down. Press down. Wait. Uh, guys, we have a problem. Uh, Persia left, and tomatoes didn't activate um, AI, so we're stuck in the PC. Wrong. Yeah. I feel like <laughs> calling you, man. The stream has been seven hours long, and I want to kind of start chilling. Yeah, but you have to talk to tomatoes. Um, I dosed the way, man. You slept. Just, that just call it, man. Let's call it, bro, man. That was seven hours. I just want to chill now, play some World of Warcraft, and Magic the Gathering. Hey, man, that was good content. We had ah, nobody can complain. That was sick. We had a crazy China war against seven real life players, seven warlords. Very, very crazy war that made me feel alive once more. That didn't happen in a while. We won it, we built a great empire. Puji has been crowned emperor. Uh, Australia, who sneakily killed New Zealand. You can never trust anyone in roleplay games. Uh, joined us. The M British Malaya joined us, who actually had a great game. You can actually roleplay as Malaya. We got Siam. I wanted to give him all of Vietnam. Very, very successful game. A lot of cool shit happened, man. Fuck it. Uh, thank you, guys. Good fucking weekend. This is the ending song. I chose this one tonight. I'm going to play some World of the Warcraft now, which is going to be boring as fuck, but Magic Gathering is going to be fine. See you on Monday. Check out YouTube. Marconi is going to upload this weekend. And yeah. Don't drink Coca-Cola, boys. It's not good for you. But it's okay. Good night. That was a fun game. That was fun. The fuck stream snipers. Just kidding. Have a good night, boys. And tell your mom you love her. Bye-bye.